in this video we're going to learn how to solve this Harvard derivative questions with the Casio FX another one ES plus scientific calculator fast and seconds for multiple choice questions now after going through this video you not just learn how to solve these Harvard derivative questions but you also understand the process involved in solving differentiation or derivative questions with the Casio calculator in general so ensure you stay to the very end of this video Okay, having known that, let's get a Casio calculator and go into the details of the video. For the purpose of those of you watching my video for the very first time, I'm going to start from the beginning to explain the step-by-step -step process you have to follow. So, be able to solve differentiation with the Casio calculator with this one in particular. So, the very first step you have to apply will be to reset the calculator. The essence of resetting it is to put the calculator in default mode to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on it so to quickly reset it just press shift button 9 for the instruction want to reset all you press straight then press equal to and press equal to again or ac key anyone so we have now cleared the calculator we have now reset the calculator now the next step will be to ensure that the calculator is in radian mode not in degree by default, this calculator is in degree. Okay, I don't recommend you should solve differentiation with the calculator under degree mode because in most cases, if you do so, you end up having the wrong result as the output. So to quickly put it in radian mode, just press shift mode. Then radian is option four. Okay, so it's now radian mode as indicated here. The next step will be to store a number used to differentiate the question before simplifying the options okay here i recommend that you should be storing too because i practiced with it for a very long time and i've not found error with it in most cases now you can choose to experiment with other numbers that you can choose to store other numbers like one three or five to solve your questions but i recommend to here particularly when the value of x is not specified okay just like these questions we have here so let's go down start to uh, this calculator to store a number just press the number first press equal to then press shift this i'll say button then press x and it will indicate that this value x has installed as to uh, the calculator so press ac button so the idea here now will be to differentiate this question with this third value so, so to bring out the d by dx function we press shift this button okay so we have sign cos x alpha x okay close the brackets you have to ensure that the number of brackets are balanced very, very important if your brackets are not balanced and you want to press the call after imputing your values you will end up having syntax error so ensure that your number of brackets are balanced as we can see we have three brackets at the left and here we have two so far so add one more to make it three it's not balanced so we go this place and put the two is stored let's press record and so we're going to have so we have minus 0 0.83 so right now we're going to simplify the options to see the one that give us minus 0 0.83 and that would be the answer to this question so let's begin with option a we have cos square x now this is how you can represent cos square s in, on this calculator you press cos then put x upper s close the bracket put square so that's how you do it okay that's the input the calculator recognizes so we have minus sign x alpha x then put the square so that's all let's press the code and see what we're going to have minus 0 0.65 no we got minus 0 0.83 so let's check the second option which is option b okay so just follow the question or the option represented exactly as it is appearing there so we have minus cos okay put cos again we have x alpha x okay close the bracket close the bracket again we have sign x alpha x we close the bracket okay so that's exactly what we have here as the option so let's press record now and see 
what we're going to have as the output loader we are going to have minus 0 0.83 and that will be the answer to the question so let's press support to minus 0 0.83 so that's the answer to this question okay feel free to check option c but i'm sure that you'll not get minus 0 0.83 that's it for question one let's solve one more question before we call it a class so that you understand this better especially if you're just watching my video for the very first time so for question two we has to find the derivative of sine x tan x okay so as usual you are not going to receive a calculator now okay since we are still working with the store value two so we are going to use it to solve this question so to bring out the D over ds function again press shift this button and it will come out so we have derivative of sine x that's alpha x okay close the brackets we have tan x alpha x so ensure that the number of brackets are balanced as we can see we have how many brackets i want to show it at the left so we have one two at the right add one more so it's not balanced go to this place and put it to use third on the calculator so let's press the code and see what we are going to have at our output so we have 6.15 right now we're going to check the options simplify the option see the one that will give us 6.15 so anyone that gives us 6.15 will be the answer to this question so option a let's start with option a we have sine x alpha x close the brackets we have plus tan x okay that's the that's let's put in fraction so we have sine x plus make use of this fraction button okay very important when dealing with fraction always make use of this function button we have tan x after x put the brackets over we have cos x after x okay so that's it you press equal to 6.15 so that's what we got when we differentiated the question so that's basically how you can solve problems involving derivative or differentiation with the classic fs another one es plus scientific calculator Pass and seconds for multiple choice questions. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel, what you learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding what I just explained in this video, feel free to give your question in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to give you a response. Don't forget to clear your calculator once you are done. Just press shift button, now for the instruction, press three, press the quote and press the quote again. And the calculator will be cleared. Okay, so I will see you in my subsequent video.